toilet paper is the trick to getting a really nice, beautiful, soft finish using these hot sticks. Salutations and welcome to the farm. Well, today we're gonna to share a little life hack that I learned back in the day when I used to do pageants. I know it's hard to believe, but there was a time many years ago where I was actually in the pageant circuit and you learn a lot of fun tips and tricks and a lot of them that you've heard are not just rumors, but they're true. Did you know pageant girls really do put Vaseline on their teeth so that their lips glide across the front of their teeth when they smile? If you smile in front of a judge for five, six, seven minutes, everything gets dry when you need that so you can continue a beautiful smile. It's true, we really did do that. Did you know that we also use tape to tape up our breasts to give us a really nice cleavage in our very expensive glass and sequins beaded dresses? It's true. These rumors that you hear are true. But what I wanna share with you today is a tip that I learned during my pageant days that will help you get a really great curl for your hair. Now this was back in the 90s and what was really popular, you can hear the little clippy clop of my little puppies walking around. What was very popular in the 90s were these Conair hot sticks. And you can find these all the time now in thrift stores, uh, the Goodwill and such, and they're usually very reasonably priced. Now I see these all the time in the thrift stores and I've shared with my friends before how much I love using these to do my hair. A lot of the times I get compliments on my hair saying, oh, country mama, you get such a cute little flip in your hair. It's very stylish. It's very retro. How do you do that? And I tell them I use these hot sticks and they're like, mm, we don't like them. And when I ask them why, they say it's very difficult for them to handle these and to wrap their hair in them. They're just a, they're just clumsy. Not my friends, the bendy sticks. So let me give you an example. When you pick these up out of this holder here where they're heating up, these can be very, they, they can be hot. They burn your hands. So to work with these, there's a burn hazard. Also, when you section your hair, after you brush it out, wash it, dry it, brush it out, and you section a, a piece of your hair, you're gonna smooth all this out and you're gonna try to wrap this around this. And oftentimes what happens is as you wrap it, you have sections of your hair sticking out like this right here. And as you try to roll and wrap, you're burning your fingers. You can't get all of these ends to stick in. They fold over on top of each other and then you end up, <laughs> you end up with these really weird tails, right? They kink, they don't curl right. And you don't get the look, the nice smooth look that you're looking for. But I have a tip for you, and this tip is directly from my days in the pageant circuit, and it involves toilet paper. Yes, you heard me right. You heard it correctly. Toilet paper is the trick to getting a really nice, beautiful, soft finish using these hot sticks. So let me show you. What you want to do is you want to pull off a section of toilet paper off the roll, and you want to break them down into little squares and you're going to use these much as you would use the papers for a perm. You're going to take these and you're going to use them to secure this hair while you roll it. So let me show you. So you wanna take a nice section of hair. There's a lot of static electricity today, but comb it smooth. And you're going to take a section of your toilet paper, fold it around the section of hair and pull it. Now you see all of the ends are contained inside this toilet paper here. This is going to help you. Now you take a nice hot bendy stick and you don't have to hold it where it's hot. Hold it up here at the end where it's not quite so hot and you're just going to start at the very bottom of that toilet paper and roll it. Oops, I had a little bit fall out. That's okay, we'll throw it into another one. And secure it and you're ready to move on to your next one. 
Now, if you want to, you can do your sections across the top and around the sides, whatever you prefer. I like to kind of do them just around the base of my head. secure it just like that and you notice I had this little piece come out here and just grab it with this section here it's not a problem I'll do a little section over here now you can decide whether you want to roll your hair down or roll your hair up I like to roll my hair under it gives me a nice classic look I'm gonna use a little small little bendy one here your, uh, your rollers come in two sizes. This is the smaller one. You can see I was able to pick up that little bit that I that I lost when I was rolling this one. And is this is a great way to just quickly roll your hair. You're not fighting with the ends. And I know I've had some people say, oh, country mama, what a terrible waste of toilet paper. And they get all upset and it's like hold on relax because when you take these out you can reuse the squares you don't have to throw them away you can roll your hair several times with the same squares of toilet paper now other people say well I like to use a flat iron to give myself a little bit of curl and that's fine I like using a flat iron when I want just a softer, um, just a little bit of softer bend to my hair. But when I want curls, I use my hot sticks. And I've had other friends say, but country mama, that's what the curling iron's for. That's true. But you know, sometimes I don't have time to just sit and curl every single section, make sure that it's curled appropriately. I don't know about you, but there's been times that I have dropped my curling iron and I will burn my neck. Oh my goodness. There we go, just a few more. And then I'm just gonna let these sit in my hair while I do some chores. I'm actually getting ready to go live on another show. I will be on the Ann Lynn Show today. If you haven't had the chance to go over and check out the Ann Lynn Show, I will make sure I put the link to their channel in the description box below. Go by, give them a little love, tell them the country mama sent ya. Just a couple more to go. Now, I'm gonna let these sit in my hair for 20, 30 minutes, like I said, while I get some chores done around the house. And then I'll come back and I'll take these out and show you the beautiful curls. I have one square left. I have one section of hair left. Planned it out perfectly. Now, you can do these before you have an outing. Easy to roll your hair, just before you get ready to leave, comb it out, set it, spray it. You can even sleep in these. I've slept in these before. They're not terrible to sleep in. They're actually quite comfortable. So I'll be back in about 20, 30 minutes and we'll take these out and see how they did. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. The curlers, the rollers are cool to the touch. Let's go ahead and take them out. They come out easily. Look at that curl. You're not gonna go curl like that with a curling iron. And here's the paper. They're still good. You can still just unfurl it and use it the next time you do your hair. Ooh! Look at these curls, friends. Now, I try not to pull on them. I like to just kind of let them pop back up. When I unroll them, I don't put too much tension on them. So that they spring right back up. Now, when you do this, you can choose if you want to spray them so they hold a little better. I don't. Sometimes I will spray with some hairspray after the fact. Let's go over here. These have been in a little longer. I don't want to take that last one out. Give it just a little bit minute more. And here's our last one. Woo. 
look at the look at the curl that I got from these hot sticks. Beautiful. Now, just to smooth them out a little bit. There we have it. A beautiful set, a beautiful brush out, and I'm ready to go join the Ann Lynn Show. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this little life hack helped you. Next time you see a set of these at the thrift store, grab them up if you want a beautiful curl. Until I see you again here on the farm, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and have a blessed day. Go to the Ann Lynn Show, tell them Country Mama sent you, and give them some love. Take care. Bye-bye.